George. What do you think Anastasia's prospects are going to be for the Australian Open now? She's had a good warm up with you. Look, I mean, with a little bit more training, um, her backhand's not looking too shabby, but her forehand needs a little bit of work. Can I tell you, she's going to do amazing. Um, I think we're we're so lucky, um, Australia, have her now part of us in Aussie. Um, she's going to really kick ass, and I'll, I'll be cheering for her. That's for sure. Fantastic, and Anastasia. Do you reckon we've got a um, potential candidate for the AO wildcard playoff next year? Could be, yeah. I think George's uh, uh, surf is really good and the volleys are great and smash is unbelievable. I don't think he missed one today. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe she should consider getting him a, giving him a wildcard next year. Well, I mean, it was a pretty fantastic match. We had a lot of crowd involvement. You had a little bit of help there from some ball kids, I think, at one point. Yeah, I've actually got to pay them later on. But um, no, it was, it was nice to have them on court. Um, great crowd. I mean, what a turnout. It's a great Melbourne day. I mean, you know, typical Melbourne style. Everyone comes out to support the underdog. Um, unfortunately, the underdog won today. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll try my best next time. I mean, you go under a lot of pressure in the kitchen. We've yeah. all seen you on MasterChef. It's all about timing and yeah, pressure. Yeah. How did you feel out there in the heat of the tennis court? It's totally different, isn't it? It's, um, I mean, look, you know, I think in, in terms of tennis and a restaurant, you know, it's, it's, they're both high pressure environments. You know, I just think this is such a disciplined sport and it takes a, an, a, an amazing mind more than anything to, to, to get through, let alone a game at, at, at a, I guess, a, a normal level, let alone at a, you know, an advanced level. So, um, yeah, the kitchen didn't help today. I think I would have done a little bit better in the kitchen. Yep. Now, diet, nutrition, very important very for a high-profile athlete. Yep. What's your advice for Anastasia leading into the Christmas season about what she should be doing in preparation for the AO? Um, you know, my, my theory about food is, you know, it's, it's, it's got to be tasty, number one. Um, and, it, yeah, it's got to be healthy, you know. I think, you know, lots of just beautiful... I mean, we're, we're, this is a great time of the year here in Melbourne. We've got the most amazing stone fruits, um, you know, beautiful lamb, great fish at the moment, lots of crustaceans. So I think lots of beautiful fish, simply cooked, um, you know, and uh, some beautiful vegetables. I mean, what more can you ask for? A great way to get amped up before a big game. Um, hopefully a few carbs in there as well. And then indulge after the game with lots of chocolate, lots of cream, lots I of butter. I can't do it before the Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll run on Come court. on Christmas time. Could be an idea, couldn't it? That right, would be fantastic. Run on, court, run on with food. Great. Good idea. Yeah, instead of, we'll instead of calling the coach, I'll just call you. Call me. Yeah. I'm calling my chef. <laughs> yeah. How's that? That sounds like a fantastic idea, guys. Well, thank you very much. Right. You put on a great performance today. Thank, thank you. you so much. No problem.